Hi all, how you doing? Hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. So back on crypto news and I'm looking at the 17 best new meme coins to buy in November the 20, 2024. Okay, and then they've got a little bit of um, spiel here. Why trust crypto news? So disclaimer, crypto is a high risk asset class. This article is provided for informational purposes and does not constitute investment advice. You could lose all your capital. So they're trying to cover their backs, first of all. OK, we reviewed and ranked the best meme coins to buy in 2024 before narrowing our list down to the top meme coins. Our crypto analysts collectively dedicate more than 600 hours to researching 300 coins based on five criteria. Market capitalization, community strength, OK, community strength, meme quality, market vol volatility and development progress. Our research showed that the most likely next meme coins to explode are Pepe Unchanged, Crypto All Stars, Flockers, Freedom Fighters, and Sponge V2. Below, we review each coin, share our ranking methodology, and review our analyst process for identifying the best meme coins, what influence their price and market cap, and the pros and cons of investing in these tokens. So we've already covered. So what I would say is any any coins in this list are likely to be scams and you've got pepe unchanged launched june the 24th i've covered that already crypto All stars i've covered that flockers i think i've covered that freedom fighters have not covered that I'll probably do that in another video okay and so the one i'm going to cover today is poke which has launched this month so this is this is the thing why is this coin in this list all right if it's only just been promoted it's only just launched sort of in within the past sort of couple of weeks or something you know if they if they look at this sort of description here um well how do they share da, 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 da. so hold on six to research five criteria market capitalization community strength i mean it's only just started is poke coin so it can't be very high on the list on on those so it doesn't make any sense for it to be in this list so that's the first red flag okay about this project <clears throat> okay so if we have a look at another article on crypto news it says here meet poke the telegram based meme coin mixing pokemon nostalgia with crypto gains and it says here disclaimer the text below is an advertorial article that is not part of crypto news editorial content. While it has undergone editorial re review to ensure quality and relevance, it may not reflect the reviews of crypto news and is clearly distinguished from our independent editorial content. OK, now you notice they say clearly, but if you look at the size of the writing, it's much lot smaller than than this writing okay so they're saying it's clearly been marked but it's very small it's writing all right compared to other stuff so you could easily miss that and uh, now in the past they've put uh the, these disclaimers at the bottom of the page or near the bottom of the page so now they're putting it at the top so they don't mention it again i think they personally should put it at the top and the bottom OK, a disclaimer. So I think maybe they're putting it at the top to confuse you because normally you're looking at, looking for it at the bottom. Maybe, maybe not. OK, um, so there's that. Now, if you go to the Poke t um, Twitter or X account. All right, you look here. They've got over 25K followers. Yeah. But they've only got 27 posts. <laughs> that's that's ludicrous. Okay. How can you get 25,000 followers with only 27 posts? That's just not. That's impossible. Okay. So clearly, these followers have been paid for or, or have been made up, whatever, however you want to call it. Okay. Um so it, it's they're not legitimate followers so that is another red flag now i noticed in the twitter it mentioned that they've got a um an audit okay so i had a quick look at the audit 
and trust net score first of all 60.3 okay i assume that's out of 100 so that is really low i think you normally well you should really have something that's over 80 i guess but uh, a trust net score 60.3 seems very untrustworthy if, if you ask me um now summary and final words um it says here no critical issues found okay but i would say that uh, token can be burned. There is a function to burn tokens in the contract. Ownership is not renounced. Okay, so this is the biggest red flag uh, in this audit. Contract can be mani manipulated by owner functions. Okay, now that is that is huge. Uh, the owners can basically do what the hell they like. Um, now another thing I did notice is um, the coding was was not the greatest in terms of its gas fees. I can't find it now where it said it. It basically said that you're paying more gas fees. Yeah, here we go. Uh, an informational issue was found due to the double initialization of the balance field, which can lead to unnecessary gas consumption and potential logic errors. Well, ownership, so in other words, you can end up paying more gas fees you know, is that deliberate? Okay. A lot of these tokens um, make you pay more gas fees so that when it comes to selling them, uh, you're less likely to sell them because you end up paying more gas fees and people don't want to pay a load of gas fees. So that is a potential uh, problem, I guess, going forward. So that's the audit. Uh, where else are we up to? Now, it does say... At the very bottom, I mean, the page obviously is very good, you know, it's high quality. But what I would say, this is very, very similar to all the other Pepe Unchained. It looks like it's by the same uh, programmers who've created Pepe Unchained and all the other scam scams that we've been seeing recently. OK, it has the same hallmarkings, except this one is ton coin. OK, and pay with ton. Uh, it's, it started off very small, okay? So they've only raised 13,000, 13,500 so far. But I would avoid this uh, like the plague, okay? I see lots of little uh, red flags already for this project already. I'm not even going to bother what it's about. You know, it's like Tapper. It's like Hamster Combat or something like that, I'm thinking. So um, Telegram game, basically. Uh, which I don't know anything about. I've got to say, I've not done any of these, and I don't want to get to know these Telegram games. I don't. I don't want anything to do with it. You know, tap tap a screen for hours to to make some crypto is just ridiculous. It's a totally ridiculous concept, in my opinion. So I'm not even going to go there. Now, the usual things like that I see. You know, the way this is designed. <clears throat> you no, know, they have a roadmap, and you have like four phases. So that's pretty common on these pre-sales they're the same amount of phases which just makes it another red flag because it's just the same kind of thing you know they'll have 40 percent probably oh, actually, i actually do have 30 percent here 30 percent pre-sale normally have like 40 percent pre-sale so it'd be interesting to see if these figures change in the future you know maybe they've got on a low pre-sale now but maybe in four months time they might just change the numbers around okay without you even noticing so yeah, so I'm making this video now, early doors. Let's see what happens in a couple of months' time. Will they change the pre-sale amount to 40% or 50% even? Which they shouldn't do, obviously. You know, it should be fixed from the get-go. But let's see. Um, yeah, the usual facts, there's about four or five or six usually. Here, this one's got four. But, I mean, I'm sure they could... You know, create a lot more questions into four questions. Seems very thin on the ground to answer people's questions. Um, now, always do your own research. Nothing here is financial advice. This is a meme coin. This is for the lols. I mean, that's about the only true thing they've said here. Um, <clears throat> you know, 
They're basically saying, if I dislike the plague, you're going to lose all your money. The, the other thing you'll notice about this is no, no mention of any team behind this. You don't say who the team is or anything like that. Future listings. This is kind of ridiculous. Um, how do you know what you're going to list, get listed with? You just, you know, it's impossible really to say. Um, you know, if a site wants to refuse you, then how can you get on there? So, and also featured in, you know, crypto news, read, write, tech report, all of these kind of um, websites are PR articles, okay? You know, they're just um, articles probably, I mean, it, it, they could be written by the people who own the actual uh sites okay that's what i think okay i've already done a, a video on adam grunwerk um who i think owns all of these sites and he's basically in my opinion i think he probably owns all of these websites as well that are listed so he's basically getting free advertising on his sites but not letting people know about it okay not telling people that he owns the sites with the websites and he owns uh, the media, uh, and that that is a huge problem. Okay, that I've got with all of this, it's totally out of order. But um, anyway, taking that out of uh, out of everything, um, there's still lots of uh, red flags uh, about this project poke. Uh, that means that you should um, stay clear of it, in my opinion. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for listening and have a good rest of your day.